Welcome to Figure Feedback, my name is Jeremy, and recently Elegoo reached out to me for the very first time and they wanted to tell me about this new brand of filament, this sub-brand of filament that they have, and it's called Deeply. They wanted to know if I was interested in checking this out to make a video about it. And I said, sure, because I'm always up for trying new filament, see what's out there. So they sent me over a few of these. Uh, the first one is going to be some regular black PLA right here. And when I looked on Amazon, this is currently selling for $10.99 for this. And then they also sent me this Rapid PLA Plus that currently sells for $18.99 on Amazon. And most of the colors cost that same price with the exception of black because the black Rapid PLA Plus sells for $12.99. So that is a pretty good price. And then also not shown here on the table because it's currently inside of a printer right now is some gray PLA Plus. And the gray PLA Plus is selling for $14.99 on Amazon. There's some different colors as well. And depending on the color that you choose, sometimes the price goes up to $16.99. But those are the prices currently for the filament that I have. So as far as the competitiveness of the pricing goes, it's not bad, especially for just a regular basic PLA, getting that for less than $11. I mean, that's a pretty good deal. And everything else is just kind of a little bit below the standard, which is great. Always need to save some money especially these days, right? So anyway, let me show you some things that I printed with this so you can get a sense of how it is. So here's the thing, I am on this helmet kick right now and I really like printing helmets, so that's what I wanted to focus on the most. So let's start with this Rapid PLA Plus in red. I printed this on the Bamboo Lab A1 and I printed it in a couple different pieces and here's a close up of how it looks. Now I forget exactly how long this took to print but typically for helmets like this on that printer it was probably around at least 12 hours so let's just say that and looking all around I mean this came out really nice I do have to say and it does have the typical hallmarks of filament printing you know so when you get to the top and you got that circling right there at the top you know and that's just completely normal but I didn't have any problems with that I didn't have any failures this all printed easily the front plate printed on the first try the back plate printed on the first try and yeah no problems with it at all so you know happy about that so this filament worked out really good in that regard. And um, at this point, I just have to put in some work and do some sanding and some filling and sanding and filling and sanding and filling. And then finally, you know, just uh, spray paint this to some sort of really nice glossy red so that it can really come out and then also get those lenses in the eyes as well. So this worked out great with that particular printer using the generic high speed PLA settings. I didn't adjust anything else. I just let it run on the defaults. Now moving over to this deeply black filament, I used the Full Sun T1 Pro to print this Batman helmet here at 103% scale. Now, because that printer is so darn fast, this helmet printed out in about eight hours. So really, really fast. And when you do print that fast with that printer, you do take a hit when it comes to the quality. So that's something that you have to keep in mind, but you are gonna be printing at least twice as fast as the majority of other high-speed 3D printers on the market. And taking a look at this helmet, I would say that this came out so good that I would be really happy with it. But the only exception is that I think there was a layer shift, like right here. It juts out a little too far out compared to the left side of the helmet. That is something that I am attributing to the printer and not the filament. Now, considering that this filament is not advertised as being a rapid filament, I think that it held up pretty well in that printer moving as fast as it did. And man, I just wish that this layer shift hadn't happened because I think that, you know, all things considered, this still came out looking pretty decent. But, you know, as usual, there's work to be done you probably notice this big old line right across the middle of the forehead something like that would definitely need to be filled and sanded but this is what came out in like eight hours and the best part about it is it actually fits allow me to demonstrate so I can just take this and this is just something that can just protect my ears and in my head from any sharp bits that might be in there because I haven't tried to like sand it down or anything but I can don the cowl of Batman and that just 
I was kind of shocked. This really fit me pretty darn good, I think. And I'm gonna see what I can do about that layer shift and see if I can like do something to kind of make it less noticeable. But uh, yeah, considering the speed, everything else came out okay. So uh, yeah, it's just a little bit more work that needs to be done in that regard. Now let's move on to the gray filament. Now for the gray filament, instead of uh, trying to do helmets, I wanted to do some terrain, some tabletop terrain. So there was this new campaign on my mini factory from the uh, cast and play folks that do the Death X tile stuff. And they had this new campaign about this gothic tile set. And I managed to get in and only pay $6 for like 60 tiles. It's not available anymore. The campaign is over, but I printed out six of these tiles on the T1 Pro as well. And I printed them at a 0.16 layer height. So printing out all of these tiles took a little over seven hours on that printer. They were all printed at the exact same time. And I wanted to lower the layer height to see if I could squeeze a little bit more quality out of it. No supports necessary. That's what's great about these particular tiles. And then you can just kind of take a look for yourself to see how you like the quality of this filament. This is the gray PLA plus when I was done with it, I had a little bit of stringing that I just sorted out with a heat gun, just gave it a quick little blast to eliminate the stringing. But looking at this, as far as the terrain goes, I am happy with this as tabletop terrain printed on a uh, FDM printer that's moving really fast. And yeah, I am, I'm fine with this. You know, I think that this came out looking pretty good and the filament didn't have any problems. I also use this filament in my 5M and 5M Pro, really just for smaller parts that were a part of a larger print overall, not larger in size, but you know, just something that went together with the rest of them. And you're not gonna really be able to see the quality of it, but just to give you an example, I printed out this really adorable um, Vault Boy, with this Vault 101 um, Vault Boy right here. And uh, the black filament, this is the Deeply filament that I just did for his eyebrow and for his eyes. So, you know, really nothing that you can really look at and say, let me take a look at that quality, but I have been using it just for some smaller auxiliary things like that. And even with those printers, you know, it's just been fine, you know, no problems at all. So, you know, if you're looking for a cheaper kind of a filament, especially if you're looking for a cheap black filament and maybe you're not too concerned about PLA plus or it being rapid or anything like that, I think getting this for like $10, $11, and I've even seen it cheap cheaper than that. At one point I saw it for like $9. Uh, it's going to be hard to beat um, filament for that price um, for a one kilogram spool. So yeah, that's it. Thank you Elegoo for sending me some of this deep leaf filament. I really do appreciate it and I had a good experience with it. So yeah, that is it. I do want to thank you all so much for watching and until next time, take care of yourselves and I'll speak to you soon.